Hey everyone, welcome to the ninth episode of how to create your own first person shooter single player game. In this episode, we are going to create health, ammo and gun UI displays for our player to give the game a little more polish and to give our player some useful information when playing the game. If you want to follow along with this series, check out the card that displays at the top right for the playlist. I would appreciate if you can comment down below to let me know what other type of tutorials you would love to see on the channel as I would like to expand my content more or even comment what you like in this video or what I could take into consideration. With Unity open, we are going to start with the player health and we want to contain all the UI elements so we are going to create a UI controller script so in the assets folder go down to the scripts folder and right click and create a new C sharp script and call it UI controller and open it up in Visual Studio. Once the script is open in Visual Studio and since we know that we are using Text Mesh Pro we can start right at the top after using Unity Engine we can type using TM Pro. We can also go ahead and delete the start and update methods to have a clean script. For our variables and within the public class at the top, we type serialize field private text mesh pro u GUI player health text and then serialize field private image and then press control and period and choose using unity engine.ui and then call it player health full image. We will then need a serialized field private text mesh pro u GUI again and call it ammo text and another serialized field of private text mesh pro u GUI and call it clip text and lastly we type serialized field private image and call it gun image. Before we carry on with our script we can go back to Unity. Now that we are back in Unity Click on the UI canvas in the hierarchy and drag and drop the UI controller script into the inspector window. With the UI canvas inspector window still open, make sure to change UI scale mode in the canvas scaler from constant pixel size to scale with screen and change the reference resolution to 1920 by 1080 and make sure match is at width as we are working with PC and the width is mostly more than height. So we need to match the width with height in this instance. One thing that has happened is our crosshair has resized and is now very small on our screen and we quickly need to fix that. So click on the crosshair in the hierarchy and in the inspector window change the width and height to 100 and now we can see that our crosshair is looking great. Now we want to create our UI text. So back in the hierarchy, click on UI canvas and in the inspector window where the script is, we can see that we need to create the player health text first. To view the UI in the scene, adjust the scene first and then select the 2D icon at the top. Then you can click on the UI canvas and press F while in the scene view to position your view to the canvas. You can pan around with the middle mouse button and zoom in to have it nicely positioned. So right click on the UI canvas and create a new empty game object and call it player health. And in the inspector window click on the anchor presets and press alt and click on full stretch to use the full canvas. Right click on player health game object in the hierarchy and create a new UI image and call it player health background. In the inspector window click on the anchor presets and hold in alt and click on the bottom left to place the anchor and position. In the scene view we can see the white block which is our player health background that we have created and we can pull it in a bit and position it so it is not right on the border of our screen and then drag it out on the right side as if you were to stretch it and then in the inspector window change the color to black. Now we are going to create another UI image so back in the hierarchy right click on player health background and create another image and call it player health full. In the inspector window click on the anchor presets and press alt and click on stretch so that it fills up the whole background image. In the inspector change the color to this baby blueish color and also give it some padding and make it three all around so it has a nice border. Also for this to work we need a source sprite image and we are quickly going to create one. 
I use GIMP to do this, but you can also use Windows Paint or just download the asset from the description down below. Now inside of GIMP, I'm going to click on file and create a new image and I'm going to make the image size 128 by 128 just so that we have a white cube like I have here and export it to a location where you can find it again and where it is relevant to your project and call the image file player health bar. Close GIMP or Paint and back inside of Unity we are going to import the newly created asset. So drag the player health bar from where you have stored it into the sprites folder inside of Unity. Once that is done click on the player health bar and in the inspector window change the texture type to sprite, 2D and UI. In the hierarchy click on player health fill and then drag and drop the player health bar image into the source image box and change image type to filled and fill method to horizontal and when you adjust the fill amount the bar is sliding back and forth. In the hierarchy duplicate the player half fill image by clicking on it and pressing ctrl and d and name it player half empty. In the inspector window change the color to a darker version of the player half fill image. Change the image type to simple as this is not needed to be filled. Drag player health full game object below the player health empty game object to have the full image above the empty image. Now that our player health background has been set up, we can go ahead and create the UI text for our player health. In the hierarchy, right click on player health background, then create a new UI text mesh pro. When the import window pops up to import text mesh pro, then hit import and rename it to player health amount text. In the inspector window in the text input, type 100 forward slash 100 and then center and middle the alignment. In the rect transform, click on the anchor presets, press alt and click on stretch, then change the vertex color to black and click on auto size. And in the auto size options, set the minimum to 1 and the maximum to 300. Then set the padding in the rec transform to 20 all around. Now you can see that it scales nicely in the game screen, whether you are on free aspect ratio or 16 by 9 aspect ratio. In the hierarchy, click on the UI canvas and in the inspector window where the script is, Drag and drop the player health amount into the player health text box and drag and drop the player health full into the player health full image box. As you can see, we still need the ammo and clip text and the gun images. So back in the hierarchy, right click on UI canvas and create another empty game object and call it gun. And in the inspector window, set the anchor presets to stretch while holding the alt key. Right click on gun in the hierarchy and create another UI image and call it gun background. Scroll out to see the image and change the width to 516 and the height to 225 and change the anchor presets to bottom right while holding alt and then in the scene view drag it a bit more into the scene so it sits nicely and not on the border of the screen. You can use the bottom game view to see how it looks if you do have the same layout. Change the color to a light bluish color by changing the RGB to HSV just to have a 0 to 100 indicator and then change the transparency to exactly half. Right click on gun background and create another UI image and call this current gun. Adjust the width to 335 and height to 195 and position it to the left. Click on the UI canvas and then in the inspector window drag and drop the current gun image into the gun image box. Now that is set up, we still need sprites that represent the gun our player is currently using. So in our assets folder, go down to sprites, right click and create a new folder and call it guns. We are going to download and import the asset link in the video description down below. Now that we have downloaded it, we can drag our gun sprites into our guns folder and click on them and make sure in the inspector window to set the texture type to sprite 2D and UI and hit apply. Then in the hierarchy click on current gun and then in the inspector window drag and drop the M4 sprite image into the source image box and tick preserve aspect.
right click on the gun background and create another UI text of Text Mesh Pro and call it ammo amount and in the inspector window set the anchor presets to bottom right. In the text input we are going to type 30 by 30, click on auto size and then in auto size option change the minimum to 1 and the maximum to 300. In the alignment center and in scene view position the text so it sits nicely next to the current gun image. Create another UI text mesh pro and call it ammo title and in the inspector window set the anchor presets also to the bottom right while holding alt. In the scene view position it so it sits on top of ammo amount and in the text input type in ammo, auto size and minimum to 1, maximum to 300 and center and middle align. Back in the hierarchy, select ammo title and ammo amount and duplicate with control D and rename ammo title to clips title and ammo amount to clips amount and move them above ammo title and ammo amount in the scene view. Click on clips title and in the inspector window in the text input type clips and then click on clips amount and in the inspector window in the text input we type 5. Now click on UI canvas again, drag and drop clips amount into the clips text box and ammo amount into the ammo text box. Since we have set this all up, we need to have reference to the ammo script which sits on rifle 00 and the player behavior script which sits on the player capsule. We are going to do this with serialized field in the UI controller script so that we can just drag and drop the script in the inspector. Open up the UI controller script. Once you are back in Visual Studio, right at the top of the public class, we can start by typing header script and then serialize field private ammo called ammo and then serialize field private player behavior called player behavior. Let us give our UI elements a header as well by typing header UI elements. Go back into Unity and set it up in the inspector. Click on the UI canvas and in the inspector window drag and drop the rifle which is under main camera into the ammo box and the player capsule into the player behavior box. Now let's head back into Visual Studio. We want to reference to constantly update our UI elements. We will later refactor and also make this so that it is event based. For now we are just going to use the update method as it will work for what we want to accomplish in this episode. Write update to create the update method and inside the update method we will write player health text dot text equal player behavior dot player health plus forward slash 100. Thereafter we want the player health full image to fill the way it should, creating the same effect with our enemy health bar. So we will type player health full image dot full amount equal player behavior dot player health forward slash 100. We know the full amount is between 0 and 1, so this will give us the value between 0 and 1. Now we want to update ammo and clip of the current gun. Go to the next line and type ammo text dot text equal ammo dot get current ammo plus forward slash 30. Later on the forward slash 30 will change to match the ammo amount of the specific gun type. For instance a pistol will only have 10 ammo. Now we will do the same for our clips, but we don't have a public variable to reference what happens to our clips in the ammo script, so we are going to quickly create one. So right click on the ammo variable and then click on go to definition and it will take you to the ammo script and in the ammo script after the get current ammo method, create a new public method by typing public int get current clips and inside the method we will just type return clips. Head back into the UI controller script and after ammo.text equal ammo.getCurrentAmmo plus forward slash 30, we then type clips text dot text equal ammo.getCurrentClips.toString. We also want to change the current gun image. We will write functionality for this at the later stage to have each gun have its own values. Since we have more than one sprite image, we will set up an array variable. So head to the top of your script and after gun image type serialize field private sprite array called gun sprites. 
We are also going to use the new input system so that our gun image changes when pressing certain keys. First, we need to set up the action inside of the input manager. Head back into Unity, select the player capsule, and inside the inspector, you will find player input. Click on input manager inside of the action slot, and this will pinpoint the input manager inside of the projects folder. Double click the input manager. Right click by actions and create a new action called swap weapon. Create a new binding, click path and hit one and select keyboard. Make sure control scheme is keyboard and mouse and create another binding and click path and hit two and select keyboard and check keyboard and mouse. Save the asset and head back into Visual Studio. At the top after using Unity Engine.UI, we will type using Unity Engine.Input System. Then we will create an awake method within our class by typing private void awake. And inside our method, we will type input manager called input manager equal new input manager. And then input manager.player.enable. And then we type input manager.player.swapweapon.performed plus equal and press tab to auto complete and generate the method. Delete the underscore performed ending and hit apply. In the method parameter, change object to context and cut and paste the new method underneath the update method. Remove the throw new system and type if context.control dot display name is equal to one, then gun image dot sprite equal gun sprites and the first index of the array, which is zero. Else if context dot control dot display name is equal to two, then gun image dot sprite equal gun sprites and the second image, which is one. Save up and go back into Unity. Once we are back in Unity, click on the UI canvas and in the inspector window, we lock the inspector window and then inside of the sprites folder where the two gun images are located, drag and drop the two sprites into the gun sprites array inside of the inspector. Unlock the inspector and make sure maximize on plays off. But before we start the game, we need to select the rifle game object inside of the scene and change ammo and reload to 30 and select the player game object and override all changes to the prefab and press play to test. You should see when you press one and two, the gun image changes. And when you shoot the enemy, the ammo reduces and also our clips reduce when we reload. And when the enemy shoots, the player health reduces. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already joined the Discord channel, please come share how your project looks and share your experience with this project. Check out all the links down below for all of the information. Source code link is down below as well as a full Git project. Remember about the comment down below with what you would like to see next. Keep well and see you in the next episode. Cheers.